Hey everybody, it's a Thursday afternoon. I'm going to do a beer today. I I did last year, um, last November, I did uh, last last year's uh, bottling of it. Uh, I'm going to do this year's bottling of, and this is probably, I think this is the last of my uh, seasonal slash holiday beers. I'm going to do one of my favorite beers from one of my favorite breweries. I'm going to do the Nutcracker Ale from Boulevard out of Kansas City. Um, this is their, they call it, it's a fresh hopped <coughs> winter warmer. Uh, a little bit from the website, it says Nutcracker Ale is Boulevard's holiday gift for real beer lovers. This hearty warming brew is a classic winter ale, deep amber in color with hints of molasses, balanced by the spiciness of freshly harvested Chinook hops. Comes in at 7.8% ABV, 28 IBUs. I haven't had this in my first bottle this year. I picked up a single bottle. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna pick up a, uh, a six pack before the uh, before it goes off the shelves. This is bottled in uh, November and December, um, so very limited seasonal release. Let's see how this compares to last year's. Okay, we got a nice caramel brown color, kind of cloudy. All the Boulevard beers are uh, bottle conditioned, so you expect them to be a bit cloudy. Got a finger of a fairly uh, frothy, bubbly, uh, slightly off-white head, uh, kind of mocha colored. Nice looking, probably amber ale. So again, not one of my favorite styles, but let's get a nose on this. Okay, you get that uh, a light, light uh, spiciness there. A little bit of like uh, citrus zest, almost like orange peel. You get light brown sugar, just just a touch of molasses. Um, nice looking smell. All, although this is a, you know it's almost like a there's maybe some light, uh, slightly bitter grassy hops in there. Definitely get those malty caramel flavors um, with some uh, hints of brown sugar, herbal spices. Just a just a lot going on here. Fairly light, but uh, really a nice uh, nice uh, mixture of uh, of uh, sweet and sweet maltiness and slightly uh, slightly bitter citrus. So let me get a taste on this. Okay, right up front you get a little bit of that almost herbal hoppiness with just a touch of pine and citrus. Um, you get those malty uh, caramel brown sugar flavors, um, especially in the finish. Um, maybe a little allspice, cinnamon, just a hint of clove. Um, then you get a really nice... Um, Citri, cit citric uh, hop wave right there at the right there at the finish. Um, got that bready toast like um, biscuity malt things backing everything up. Um, but it's balanced pretty nicely, especially up front with the with the uh, malt and the, and the citrus hops. Finishes with a slightly strong, maybe slightly strong, kind of bittering, piney flavor. Um, got a kind of a mix of a citrus and, and piney aftertaste. Um, it's almost a little bit of a, like a grape, poop, grape peel in there, some mandarin oranges. Um, Really interesting, um, a unique brew, not your typical uh, uh, winter warmer, that's for sure. And I love the way those slightly bitter, earthy hops um, finish it out. Uh, it's uh, medium bodied, uh, carbonation, 
you don't see a lot but you can feel it um, it's a little above average but it's a nice uh, smooth drinking beer so let me sit sip on this a while let it warm up just a bit and I'll be back after a while with the final thoughts and grade okay I'm back it's only been 10 minutes or so I drink on this much longer there wouldn't be much left uh, now this is a damn good beer uh, it's one of my favorite seasonals from uh, from Boulevard that's for sure uh, as it's warmed up what little it's warmed up I know some maltiness has come out a little bit in the aroma <clears throat> on the taste um, the maltiness has actually receded a little bit you're you're still getting that nice um, you get the nice slightly hop slightly uh, hoppy citric uh, floral bitterness all the way through the palate now uh, it lingers a bit it's not a super clean finish uh, but it tastes so darn good you you're actually you're wanting another sip anyway um, I really love the way the the blend on this um, it's just it's damn near perfect for for it's not what you consider a war, winter warmer normally I mean it's getting up to 7.8 percent by the way you don't this could be a dangerous beer because you don't uh, you don't taste it you don't feel it um, at all you don't even know there's you wouldn't even know that you just think this was a you know a glass of cider or something like that or you know orange orange mixed drink or something like that because you don't even you don't taste you don't feel the alcohol there's none here that I that I can discern anyway um, so you know it's not what you consider your usual un, usual winter warmer but it's only I look forward to it every year it's it, like I said only available in November December um, if you see it, I'd, I'd grab it quick because uh, December is almost over. But uh, I, I really like this beer. I this some this is one I wish they could. This could be a year-round beer. Um, I wish almost wish they'd do it year-round and you know give it another name or something. I mean, it's got a decent ABV. It tastes good. Um, it's a taste and style combination you don't uh, find very often um, which is what really makes it kind of fun and interesting so the Boulevard Nutcracker Ale and I will pick up another six pack before uh, before it disappears from the shelves I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10 good solid uh, good solid winter warmer beer um, one of, like I said, one of my favorites. It's not a 10. I think it's 7.5% or 7.8%. It could age a little bit, but it's so darn good I've never been able to age any. So, uh, and I'm sure it'll lose a lot, of, you know, it will lose a lot of the hoppiness. It's fresh hop, so. Anyway, 9.5 out of 10 for the Boulevard Nutcracker Ale. You get a chance to try it if you see it, pick it up. If you get the Boulevard beer, so till next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beer.